Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Monday, March 1st, 10 school days until spring break. I'm Jesse Bratman, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. If you would like to donate a book to the National Honor Society Book Drive, boxes will be in homeroom until March 5th. Now to Bennett Kent with a message from administration. What's going on Wildcats? I'm Bennett Kent here with Coach Ray Appel for the rundown of the week. Thanks Bennett. Uh, we've got a bunch of home sporting events this week. Uh, on Monday we have Boys Lacrosse hosts Merritt Island at 6 p.m. Tuesday, we've got Girls Lacrosse hosting Merritt Island at 6 p.m. Also on Tuesday, Boys Tennis hosts Satellite at the Jimmy Moore Courts on the corner of um, Sarno and Wickham, and that's at 4 p.m. Girls Tennis hosts Cocoa Beach at the same courts on Thursday uh, at 4 p.m. Also Thursday is our first middle school basketball game. The boys and girls teams both take on Coco. Uh, the first game starts at 5.45, uh, not 5 o'clock like in years past. And finally, our track team travels to Holy Trinity for a big meet on Saturday, so good luck to all our athletes. All right, Wildcats, this has been Ben Kent and Coach Ruppel. And remember, Cats, stay cool at the shore. Met a Harry Kacheri with the story on SAT changes. Recently, College Board has made the decision to change the SAT format to not only stick to coronavirus protocols, but to make the exam more practical for high school students. Of these decisions, College Board has decided to remove all the SAT subject tests and the SAT essay portion, along with making the exam completely online due to coronavirus. However, these changes will only apply after the March SAT, which is given to juniors for free. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy that they took out the essay and the subject test because I probably would have failed it anyways. And, you know, it seemed unnecessary. And uh, I'm also happy that it's online because, yeah, you know, it's I like doing it better than the normal paper or paper and pencil way. I think the the biggest effect will be fewer opportunities. You know, a lot of students take advantage of being able to take the test multiple times, but in the overall big picture of things, you know, there are going to be fewer opportunities for everybody, not just our students. So yes, I think it will affect scores. You could see a, a, maybe a lower mean score, average score in the future slightly, but I think you're going to see that overall too. This has been Harry Kacheri reporting for WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Jesse Bradman. Have an amazing day, Wildcats.